Alrighty, folks. Good morning. It is Monday. Had hope you had a good weekend. Uh, oh, I need to mark. I need to mark. I need to mark a half inch for my spacing for my binder. And then I want to mark where my little holes are for this page. More or less, in general, they're not perfect. But that way I know I need to cover at least those spaces with my whatever I'm going to do today. And I'm going to do this one from Alina Light's deck. Um, we only have, I think, two. Yeah, we have this one and two more cards, and then we will have completed Alina's whole deck for deck one and we can move on to deck two that means we've we'll have done so far we've done like 50 this will be the 50th because I think she has 52 in the deck 50 of her patterns the fact that she has over 100 patterns astounds me but anyway it's called Pero uh, you do a line can you see that let me zoom in a bit and use a pointer that's not going to make a mark Okay, so we draw a kind of uh, whatever we want the stem of this sort of feathery looking thing. And then we go up and we come down and then we do the next one. And she wants us to do it with a single continuous movement. So I watched her video and so she'll come up and she'll come down and then up and then down and then up and then down and then, you know, like that. Don't, don't pick up your pen. And then she does then the other side if she does both sides she actually comes up and comes down and then goes up and then comes down and both sides back and forth i'm not sure i'm talented enough for that here's her drawing what she did she chose like that i think that's pretty cool i'm not sure that that's exactly what i want to do but stand that card up there let's let's make a plan here um what I think I want to do is I want to make a bundle coming. I really like that on my front page here. Ugh, now I'm all zoomed in and you can't see. On my front page here, I've got my circles and they're all kind of coming this way with like stems. I'm going to do that same sort of thing here kind of stems coming this way, right? And then maybe outward from there, some arms so that we can like do that pattern coming this way, all this direction. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've kind of got myself an idea of what I, what I want to do with my drawing. Let's take this size. No, not that size. I don't want that one. I want a number two. Where's my number two? I have made such a mess. There's my number two. Number two, Copic Multiliner. And I am just going to come up and do this. While I'm doing this, I want to remind you guys that I now have a buy me a coffee. So if you want to take a screenshot of that, go to my coffee page and uh, make a donation if you so feel led. If you don't feel led, don't do it. It's okay. Just letting you know it's there. Um. I, I told you on the last video, the reason I've decided to, s to start that is I've got a couple of goals. Uh, one of them is, is to have some sort of support system, support team in place for when I do retire in a couple of years from my full-time job. Um... And the other is I want to 
I want to create a coloring book. And for that, I need to do some research. I need to maybe purchase supplies. I don't know if I'm going to print it myself. I already said that. And I, I really want to start working on that. So in order to kind of uh, make myself accountable, I am kind of giving you guys, if, if you guys have supported me financially, I will be accountable and I will have to do it. That's kind of my thought process. Oh, I am really wiggly today. Ah, wow. This is not going as anticipated that was weird oop wrong direction look at that huh strange okay this way isn't so bad the other way is really odd Perhaps I'll just do one direction on that one. I'll do a secondary line like that. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. You know, that's not so bad. Um, anyways, what I was saying is is if I if I get some backing, I get some support, I, I will I will hold myself more accountable. I will work harder at getting it done. Really want to do a coloring book. Everybody says, oh, you should do a coloring book. And you're right. I should. Absolutely. People are people are correct. I should do a coloring book and and I'm going to. I'm gonna. Oh, look, my hand is getting more steady. I haven't drawn anything in a c couple of days. And you know what? Your hand, there is some muscle memory that happens. And you really just need to... Um, that wasn't the shape that I wanted. You You do need to practice or you kind of... Your hand gets out of practice. Something like that. When I looked up one of Alina's videos and one one of the things she did with this pattern is to just do kind of like a lines like feathers uh, which I may do because I'm having some issues oh that's not a shape that I wanted but she did kind of like this also and that just adds to it that's that's cool Okay, and then this one I'll just do on one side. Um, you're not going to see any of the things that I'm drawing for the coloring book on this channel, mostly because I have to draw them really big I have to draw uh, on a big eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and it just doesn't fit on my desk with you guys being able to see this this is only a this is taking up the whole viewfinder and this is only four what is this 
it's four inches this way and it's about five and a quarter inches that way and that like fills up the whole thing even if I go all the way out that's the eight and a half by eleven I have to draw this big and it takes me you know this this might take me a half, half hour 45 minutes uh it takes me over an hour to draw a big one so um yeah I'm, I'm going to save those for whenever I get it published and ready to go um I don't know which direction I want to go with this. Uh, something like that. I am having such a struggle on this side. Wow. I can't make this side look like the other side at all. Although that's a little better. Wow. Good thing it's an organic pattern, huh? I like it though. It looks like uh, sheaths of wheat or something. I think that's pretty. Um... Let's do this side first. Oh, maybe I just had the paper at the wrong angle for my hand. This side's coming along. Turn your paper, folks. Turn your paper. like that and like this like that and then this one is going to go perhaps like this This one's going to get a double line like that. I think those are good. Look at how pretty that is. That just, that's making me happy. I want a little bit of a dark, thicker line for just the underside, like a shadow. that yeah just to give it a little extra dimension by making one line much thicker than the rest. Oh, I like that. 
Okay. I don't think I've ever drawn this one. And I really like how this turned out. We're going to sign it in here. And we're going to go up this way. P E R O. And erase all. Make sure it's nice and dry. Give this back to you just in case you need it. Link is going to be in the description box below as well. But um, I'm going to keep reminding you. Uh, I know that's kind of annoying. But skip over it if you need to. I want to do a little bit of shading. Um, this one. Like I said on my last video, August is my birthday month. I think uh, my son is planning to be home for the weekend. Uh, not sure that we have anything specific we're planning. Maybe we'll just have a barbecue like we did. You know what I'd really like? Maybe, may, ah, ha, 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 let's plan that. I have a thought. My friends, my artsy friends, you know what, for my birthday, I am going to plan a painting day. And if it's too hot, outside maybe we can do it in the garage if we have room hopefully we'll have room by then we will have gotten further along in our renovation journey and all the renovating stuff we will have moved out of the garage and put into where it needs to go maybe I'm not sure if we're gonna be that far then but I think I want to ask my friends if they want to come over and do a painting day uh the art sherpa just recently did this really fun abstract cat which i think is absolutely phenomenal let me let me look it up for you guys while i'm doing this i can zoom in show you the how that turned out i like that that was easy and let me show you what it looks like with the page on top. That's what it looks like with the page on top. Interesting. These didn't end up matching that, which I should have thought about, but I didn't. But that's okay. It's fine. Next time, I will be more cognizant of that. Let me see if I can... Do my unlock my screen here. Search. Art Sherpa Abstract Cat. Let me turn off this. Not diamond painting. Art Sherpa. This one. 
Isn't she cute? I want to paint that one so bad. And I think I'm going to invite my friends over and we will have a paint day and we will just enjoy ourselves. And uh, yeah, that's what I think we're going to do. Let me turn that back on so you guys can see because it's dark with light off. And uh, it is getting hot out here. It is going to be a scorcher of a day. Yesterday was 108. I don't know what today's forecast is. It's currently 90, 87 degrees. Oh, my forecast says it's going to be 98 today, not 108, but we will see. Yesterday's forecast was not for 108 either, and that's what it ended up being. So we will see. Anyways, I will uh, see you on the next video. I'm going to stay out here as long as I can, get as many pages done as I can, try to get through this journal because I'm having fun. I will see you guys on the next video. You guys have a blessed day. See you guys later. And um, go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place one person at a time. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.